Okay, 18. Oops. Okay, let's interpret this one together really quickly here. It says select employees with the first name of Holly and received a good performance rating, but in the same query, select all employees who received an average performance rating regardless of their first name. So here's how we interpret that. Okay, here's how it's going to work. So, and uh, acts like a multiplier divider, where in the order of operations that's performed first, meaning it's going to tie these two criteria together, or it will only have to be average, meaning it won't require this. So if it helps you to understand, um, this won't change the query at all. This is how it works. These things together both need to be met, or this criteria alone needs to be met but parentheses aren't necessary because the and will automatically tie the two of those together. All right, what you can do to make sure that you're getting this one right is go ahead and put performance in here to help you verify that the results are accurate. So you can see, okay, I've got Holly and Holly. So here's, Holly. oh, so one criteria is first name Holly and good, and that's where this one comes from. Then the other criteria is also include in these results anyone who's average, which includes the other Holly because she's average. Once we verify that it's right, we can take that off and we're good.